friends today let us see how to prepare aluminum air battery is a simple type so reusable a step towards the commercial type any dubby you can take any empty plastic case with the lid and bottom like this a simple design i am going to take i got a chiclet box like this and uh, i just because these are this will be the top and this is the bottom so here i am going to place the tin sheet this is a tin sheet i have cut it as per the the content like this this will be our positive electrode this again fix it to this base by using any adhesive rubber adhesives will be better so here i am going to fill those carbon particles this will be the our anode step by step i'll show you this will be the anode and the upper portion will be the zinc and aluminum sheet which i am going to dip as when required then i have to carefully fill these particles put a filter paper i mean nine nylon filters i got i have to slowly place it on, on the top like this so inside will be the particles so slowly and see that it is formed ad adhere with these adhesive borders that is the technique which we have to do slowly after that it is very simple we have to close with this lid and see that it becomes airtight all these things you have to close it using any acrylic adhesives or that uh, what you call instant adhesives are there so that while pouring the alkali it should not get leaked from the sides that is very important so this becomes a cell and when required you can insert this zinc I mean, aluminum sheet when the alkali is here the electrolyte is the alkali here two ends potassium hydroxide will be the electrolyte once you dip it you can see the current instant generated it will be around 1.3 to 1.5 we'll see it in practice step by step we'll do it okay friends see at the bottom i have put this adhesive and i have spread like this this is the bottom container the any projection thing i have cut it so i have put a this is a tin sheet similar in shape I measured things and, and I have done like this. I am going to fix it here. This will be our first step towards making this battery. See that it is fixed properly. You just give a press so that it adheres fine. Okay friends, this will be our positive plate preparation. So once it gets nicely adhered, we can go for filling these carbon particles. Okay friends. See that now we have, and this is all double layer adhesives I have put for precautionary because once I fill it, then I am going to, on the top I am going to fix this nylon filter mesh, it called nylon filter mesh. Any other mesh, whatever you have, you can also put any uh, whatever pads are there, filter pads are there, that also you can apply. This is only um, just an intuition I am giving you how to prepare with available containers and available material. Now let us slowly pack with this the carbon mixture. It's a mixture of graphite, equal amount of carbon black, conductive to carbons, then equal amount of slowly fill this electrode with carbon black. And later on we can slowly take it out those upper layer also. Otherwise now if we put those um, carbon will st stick with this also. You can slowly fill it. You can apply your own methods to fill it. This is this is the mixture of graphite, carbon black, and MnO2, magnus dioxide. I'm going to fill it. See that it is well packed within the slotted place. That is very important. So we have started adding these graphite powders into the available place. Slowly see that it is well packed inside. That is very important. You can use any stamping. I have made like small stamping like this. So that I can slowly stamp it to give a better tightness. 
okay we have done it so we have to now slowly take out those papers out you don't disturb lot the more cautious better for us like this we have to slowly take all those things slowly remove it like this now things have taken it out similarly this also we can remove it see that you don't disturb at the maximum let it disturb you cannot avoid see that you don't disturb the least disturbance better for us to fix those paper no those, those nylon filter mesh have to fix it that is very important so we have removed all those upper layer now it is naked so we have to carefully insert this nylon filter nylon filter adhered fine on the border it is very important very important it is adhered even you can apply some instant adhesives in the corner even here also so that it is very firmly placed those carbon particles should be firmly placed that is the conductors are they loosely packed means the current density will be reduced using this uh, acrylic instant adhesive i slowly run over the borders so that it is firmly adhered now now i cannot touch it it is it has firmly adhered i placed all my liquids here let it wait for some time so that it strongly adheres now as to my experience it is strongly bonded now the upper electrode will be the aluminum electrode this i have just cut on uh, waste spray can i cut down and i just taken out the those paint which were here i just scrapped it so this is nicely polished so i have to close this using some same adhesive see that the corners are not leaked you have to slowly close it and make some adhesives along with it so that it becomes a container a well sealed container so on the upper surface you will have space there we have to pour the electrolyte potassium hydroxide electrolyte and just when you enter this electrode it will start the current will flow we can we, we will see it i'm slowly making it air tight this closed as a closed box i'm pouring this acrylic adhesive see that it you do slowly otherwise it will go to your hands it will spoil your slowly do it step by step so that it all the surface is totally <coughs> leaked i mean uh, leak proof because while pouring this electrolyte it is an alkaline so it should not leak out this, this only trial we are learning from this everyone learns from this so now i made a cell then dip the aluminum electrode you can see the current coming out clip first and then insert the the electrode i'll take it out the alkali i have to see whether it so now the cell is almost we have sealed it using some adhesives i feel it is now leak leak proof now it is leak proof all the bottom everything i have adhered it so now my work will be to insert this aluminum electrode just a size to fit inside that that's all i made a cut on the top so that it goes well inside so it is now 
a proper cell with a negative aluminum sheet and positive tin sheet with graphite powder. This are all you can use this also. This chiclet box also. This is a bigger one. This is a smaller one. All depends on imagination. Whatever rectangular boxes you get with the top and bottom, you can use it. So very versatile it is. This are all more or less. Add this electrolyte. Here electrolyte is two normal potassium hydroxide, or you call it as 11.2 percent of KOH. Very, very slow. I mean, uh, what do you call? Uh, low strength. I am using it. We can go for even 5n, 7n. Commercial, no, they go for 5n n, so that more amperes will be produced. That's the only principle. Stronger the electrolyte, more current will be generated. I'm just pumping inside. The electrolyte now. You are able to see there is increase in volume. I'm just pumping it. Let it be half filled. We'll we'll see it. Now this is half filled now. We are able to see. We'll see what is the current generated. We'll see it. Able to see it. I'll see it now. This is around one point three five volt. One point three five. Able to see friends. A constant current is there. You can even see the amperes also. We can see the ampere also. We will see the ampere also. If it gets saturated, it will exceed 100 milliamperes. <laughs> Just getting saturated. You able to see the rise? It is getting saturated. After 10 minutes, you can see more than 130 milliamperes will be there. Able to see friends, one not five all that. You can see motor running. I'll show you motor. It is one point three five volt ampere, more than one not five. It will reach. After ten minutes, we can see it will it will reach that. You can see the motor running. Yes, you can see the motor running. It takes little time. Once it gets saturated, it will be fine. First thing, there will be some dust. You can throw it out again. Fresh electrolyte. It will give a better flow of volt and amperes. Able to see? Because I am using just a two n potassium hydroxide. It's a very very feeble. If for commercial, we have to go for seven n. This is two. So think when you put five n and seven n, it will give a very good amperes. The volt will be one point three five. Ampere will be nearing one amperes. You can able to see. Okay, friends, this is a very simple place, just a equivalent to a commercial cells. Yeah, you can see it. Able to see running. Now it is. It was one forty, one fifty milliampers is there. Able to see. This it is giving you some nearing one fifty milliampers is giving. You can see the volt also. You can see the volt also. It will reach one point three. It will happily reach one point three. Okay, friends. If you like, give your like buttons. I can still make some modified things later on. I'll show you quick charging on the zinc coated aluminium carbon batteries with a modified electrolyte and carbon rod. Also, I'll show you. Kindly subscribe and make me happy. Thank you.